Hey everybody! So today we are going to talk some more about the Arabic parts or the Arabic lots or the lots or the parts or the pars. <laughs> You've probably seen it stylized a bunch of different ways. Today we are specifically going to be talking about the lot of victory or the lot of Jupiter is what it's also known as. It's one of the seven hermetic lots based on the planets. <clears throat> These are the formulas for it. If you have a day chart, you will use the top formula and a day chart is when you have the sun above the ascendant. If you have the sun below the ascendant, you have a night chart, you will be using the bottom formula. And then I have an example on how to do this, how to calculate it. Now, there is something that I hadn't really thought about and I should have thought about this earlier because I do think that people should, if you're gonna play with these, I do think that you should check software calculations and check them by hand and make sure that you're coming out with the same thing. <clears throat> um, sometimes when you calculate these, this, this example is for a night chart, but sometimes when you calculate these, you might come out with a number that is bigger than 360. Like here with this example, you come out with 616. When you add the ascendant plus spirit together and then subtract Jupiter. So when that happens, if that should happen to you, what you do is you then take the number that you get which in this case is 616, and you subtract 360 from it, and you end up with another number. In this case, you get 256. 256 translates to 16 degrees Sagittarius. So I will post a, I will post the first picture that I showed with the formulas, I will post a link to that. I will also post a link to this picture that I just showed you. So in case you're somebody who winds up with a number that is bigger than 360, <laughs> you'll know what to do. And um, I'll also post a link to a picture of the 360 degree zodiac, turning the stuff to 360 degrees. So you'll know what to do there too. Okay, <clears throat> so what is the lot of victory? Paula said, victory, became, boop, victory becomes a contributing cause of trust, good expectation, contest, every association, and sometimes contributes to penalties and rewards. Okay, so this is a pretty good lot overall. It's not one of the difficult ones. It's not like the lot of necessity. It's not like the lot of nemesis. It is considered an easier lot or a good lot. Good, in quotes, you know. Um, <clears throat> now, this lot, this lot is more Okay, so with the part of fortune, since this lot is, con is calculated from the lot of spirit versus the lot of fortune, the lot of fortune tends to be thought of as more things that happen to you, more things out of your control. Whereas, uh, now I, I personally think that's a little too fatalistic for me, but that is how they're, that is how some people think of it. Whereas the lot of spirit is more things that you will or things that you intend. So since the lot of victory is calculated from the lot of spirit is in the formula, there is a sense of, there is victory here. There can be victory here by sign and house and aspects made and all of that. But it is victory that you kind of have to go after and intend and will and like, ah, like I want it, it's mine. <laughs> you know, you have to want it. You have to take no for an answer. You have, you know what I mean? like. You have to be hungry for it because it ain't just going to happen kind of thing. You have to want it to happen and make it happen. <clears throat> By sign and house will give you an idea of perhaps where or what area of life or light, what areas of life that this victory or triumph might happen for you. And then by sign is how. Now, when I think of victory here, I don't think of victory in terms of like victory over adversary necessarily. Um, I mean, I guess adversary could come into play depending on what what all the lot of victory is doing in your chart. It could certainly come in, but I, I don't think it's necessarily over adversary like environmental things or, or other people. I think it's just more victory over something within yourself, perhaps. I think that, I think, I think it's more of a self thing I mean, other people could play in, environment could play in, but I do, it does feel more, um, 
more self-involved, if you will. Um, so like in the example that I had here on this page, this person has their a lot of victory at 16 degrees Sagittarius. It's in their ninth house. So to me, this seems like, you know, victory dealing with their understanding and assimilation of information. Ninth house deals with all of that, that stuff. And I also feel like the, the lot of victory is really nice in the ninth house and in Sagittarius. You don't have to, to think of, of natural, you don't have to think of the ninth house as having a natural ruler, but it does have an affinity for Jupiter, does have an affinity for Sagittarius. It just does. <laughs> it just does. So it does feel nice to, it does feel like it would be a nice place to have the lot of victory in the ninth house in Sagittarius. It does feel nice. Um, but definitely like, um, things involving assimilation of, of, understanding of things certainly certainly seems like it would fit for this person too um there could be a lot of victory found there for this person if they were to do this or do this correctly and I say correctly because you know correct is kind of a relative thing but if it's done correctly for them there might be victory found in this way and perhaps in a big way, because we're talking about Sagittarius, um, or in a very expansive way. Now, you'd also want to look at what <clears throat> the lot of victory is doing in the chart, like what aspects it makes. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head what aspects this one makes to other other planets in the chart, but you definitely want to look. Um, because any, say, any squares or any any squares or oppositions might make it more challenging. Any trines could make it more easy. Easy, challenging. But again, that depends on the whole thing. You'd also want to look at what the planetary ruler of the lot of victory is doing in the chart. If the lot of victory happens to actually make an aspect with the planetary ruler of the lot of victory, that tends to kind of strengthen the importance of the lot in the person's chart like if it's and how it strengthens it might depend a little bit on what kind of aspect you're talking about but definitely if you've got like the planetary ruler of the lot of victory is say trining it or squaring it or what have you it does it does feel like it would strengthen the lot in this particular person's case their their uh their jupiter which is a planetary ruler sagittarius happens to be in gemini in the third house now it is not opposing it. I would not consider it opposing it. I use an orb of three to of two to three degrees applying and separating for these. I think three is a little wide personally, but if you want to go out that far, I see no reason why you can't. Or, I mean, do whatever the fuck you want. You want to go out even further, whatever. If you want to come in even more, whatever, you know, teach their own. <clears throat> but I wouldn't go much further out than three, if even that far at all. Um, so I wouldn't consider this an opposition which is probably <laughs> makes it a little easier or a little a little easier for this person just not having the planetary ruler opposing <laughs> actually opposing the lot of victory but um so that when you don't when you don't see the planetary ruler actually making an aspect with the lot of victory or any lot that you're working with it does kind of it's kind of a neutral thing if you will it doesn't really strengthen it doesn't really weaken it it just kind of is neutral <laughs> but in this person's case with a lot of with a lot of victory in the ninth house in Sagittarius and Gemini in the third house in or sorry Jupiter in Gemini in the third house you know this this person they're wanting to you know J Jupiter is beliefs it is understanding. This is what it what it does, right? And it assimilates. Kind of like the third house. But in Gemini, you know, it's it's a whole bunch of shit. A whole bunch of and I don't mean shit in a bad way. I just mean there's a lot of information there, right? A lot of information. 
so I think for this person, there are other things in their chart too that make me think this. The actual <laughs> assimilation in the ninth house of what they need to be assimilating in the first place is really, really important for them. And they probably can find a lot of victory when they do this correctly. So, but yeah, definitely play around with it in your own chart and see what comes up. Um, play around with it in those ways. If, um, and I, you can look at these in synastry. You can look at these in transits. You definitely want to take a look and see, um, see what, you know, like if you're looking at, like if you're looking at these in synastry, right? Let's say you've got somebody's, somebody's son is conjunct your lot of victory. That seems like that's pretty cool. I would definitely look and see what's going on with your Jupiter and what, what their planets are doing to your Jupiter though too, to give you an idea of what else might be going on. You definitely want to bring the planetary rulers into play when you do, when you work with these in synastry. Um, you also, same thing with transits. If you're looking at transits and you notice that like, I don't know, transit Jupiter is going to be conjunct your, your part of, or lot of victory. That seems really cool too, but definitely look and see what transits are going on with your natal Jupiter to help flesh it out even more. Definitely keep that in mind. Um, oh, and also I wanted to, I, I, I've gotten a message about this, about if I read with these, do these in readings, use the lots. I do. I don't always include them. So if you are wanting me to do a reading for you and you want these included, let me know and I can include them. Or if you're curious about just having me read for you with, you know, just dealing with the lots, I'm happy to do that too. I wanted to throw that out there since that was something that I got asked. And in case anybody else was curious about it, figured I'd, I'd toss it out there. Anyway, I am going to get going. <laughs> but if you want to uh, follow us on Instagram, you can find us at Let's Fuck With Astrology. I'm at Saturn Season Astrology on Instagram. Natalie's at Paterno Astrology on Instagram. If you want to like or subscribe or whatever the fuck people do with videos on YouTube, you can find us by searching for Let's Fuck With Astrology in the YouTube search bar. And if you're watching this on YouTube right now, you can like and subscribe below. <laughs> and if you do the Reddit thing, come join us on the subreddit Let's Fuck With Astrology. Okay, y'all. I'll see y'all later.